We are all here today thanks to the vision of ACFE founder and chairman, Dr. Joseph T. Wells, who has guided the direction of the ACFE since its inception. He is now retired from public speaking. And even though he is not in Las Vegas this week, Dr. Wells is definitely here with us in spirit. While I was preparing for my remarks, I thought about the duality of the roles we each play. While I was serving as an instructor these last 12 years, I was also diligently listening and learning from two of the best mentors a fraud examiner could have. The ACFE's founder and chairman, Dr. Joseph T. Wells, and our now president emeritus, Jim Ratley. You too balance different roles. You may be a fraud examiner and a manager, an investigator and a business owner, an attorney and an accountant. We are at times the teacher and we are at times the student. These dual roles are actually illustrated perfectly in the origins of the ACFE. When Dr. Wells set out to combine the expertise of an accountant and the skills of an investigator, two professions became one. And when combined, produced something significantly stronger, the fraud examiner. The same way that we combine our professional acumen and personal knowledge to grow, we use the past and our experience to plan for the future. I look forward to carrying on Jim and Dr. Wells' legacy, fully knowing that their vision is the foundation for the road ahead. So what does that future look like for you as an anti-fraud professional? I'd like to highlight three trends that we can expect to see over the next few years and into the next decade. The first is technology. The way in which we learn today is far different and much faster than ever before. I can vividly recall what this meant to me 25 years ago when I was in law school. I remember studying at a musty old dark library in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I reviewed handwritten notes and books to study for my exams, two things that seem archaic to us now. And when I worked in the financial industry years ago, you had to call into your broker to buy and sell a stock. Now you can make a trade directly from your phone. But I would like to focus on the emerging technologies that represent both risk and opportunities in the fight against fraud. In particular, we've seen a remarkable surge in public interest and investment in virtual currencies such as Bitcoin. There has been a corresponding rise in the number of schemes that exploit the excitement surrounding these new offerings as well as their complex nature, to deceive investors, businesses, and regulatory authorities. However, these developments don't just provide new opportunities for fraudsters. Governments and businesses around the world are moving to capitalize on the fraud-fighting potential of blockchain technology. It promises to help detect and prevent payment fraud, securities fraud, fraud in the supply chain, and identity theft. Likewise, artificial intelligence and machine learning are rapidly becoming indispensable tools for detecting suspicious transactions, enhancing cybersecurity measures, and streamlining fraud examinations. To address the risk and opportunities, some countries are responding with new regulations. Others are taking a lighter approach and seeing where these advancements fit into existing legal structures. Needless to say, the regulatory and technological developments have been swift. But as always, the ACFE remains committed to exploring cutting edge trends and producing educational content to help you stay current with new tools as they develop. 